What? <laughs> Are you kidding? But I don't know if that works. Oh God. Hello everyone, it's Carissa and a welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing something a little different. I am transforming myself into Selena Gomez. When it comes to transforming yourself into a celebrity, I feel like if you're comparing it to a picture, the best way to see the final look is if you take a picture that is similar to theirs and see if it is somewhat alike. So, um, although I'm talking right now, I really don't feel like I look much like Selena Gomez, but I think the makeup that she has on is pretty much on point. And the final picture that I did take that is similar to hers looked pretty similar in my opinion. So definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to see the finished look. And I'm not really gonna ramble on too much, so honestly, let's just get started on this transformation because well, you'll, you'll see how uh, much of a wreck it is. <laughs> okay. All right, so I just have my hair pulled back and um, she has a pink turtleneck on, but of course I have black. I have white and I have cream, but I don't have pink. So, um, mostly because I don't really wear pastel colors in the winter. So, yes. Looks like the look is matte. Still gonna add my oil because I do that before I put any makeup on ever. And if I do end up liking this, I'm just gonna wear this to work, so. So going in with my LA Girl Foundation, I'm just going to use a beauty blender, a Real Techniques beauty blender, and I'm going to buff this into my skin. Really wanna put out a bunch of fall videos right now. Um, I know that they would do really well, but I already have pre-filmed and edited a lot of fall videos for my self-tober series that's coming in October. Do I look like Selena yet? <sighs> probably not. I'm probably not going to, even by the end of this video, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm just going to conceal. This is nothing special, kinda just like the basics of makeup. We're gonna go with the eyebrows first because I have a feeling this is gonna be the hardest part for me. My brows, as you can see, naturally they're very arched and hers, she doesn't really have an arch, hers kind of curve out. Um, the good thing is, is that her brows are very feathery and I can pretty much make mine pretty, pretty feathery. I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade and then I'm gonna take an angled brush. I'm going to carve them out first just a little bit but I do need to shape this part because hers are curved and mine are more of like a point my brows are gonna look so bushy compared to hers and then I'm going to take my NYX tinted brow mascara and these are going to make my actual hairs stick up what <laughs> are you kidding this is um, very thick. I feel like I should have done the brows last because uh, we're just gonna go with it. Maybe at the end it will, it will look okay, hopefully. I still feel like this one is super thick. I really hope this whole video doesn't go like this because then this will take me like 20 years. We're gonna thin these. All right, and before I make them way too dark, this one is such a mess up. Honestly, I can't even. I'm gonna take this brow off and I'm gonna redo it. And um, you know, I'll come back and I'll let you know how it worked. All right, so I was able to fix it a little bit. Literally, I just didn't outline it as much. Brows, um, they're not our best friend. <laughs> Hopefully the rest will be like Selena because the brows, it wasn't working. I should have covered them with concealer and kind of made my own brows, but here we are. All right, so next I'm taking two sticks. One is a foundation stick from um, Makeup Revolution. It's an F16. We're gonna use this to bronze, but just a little bit because she actually focuses more on the blush. So that's why I have a blush stick that we're going to really overwork today. I'm literally doing the lightest contour because a little bit of this goes a very long way. Her forehead is about the same size as mine, so I'm not really going to do much with that. She has kind of the same shape head, shaped head as me, except hers is kind of more of an, a heart and mine is more of like an oval. Um, her jawline is like sharper when it gets to the chin. Her nose again is actually pretty similar to mine. So we're just going to contour a little bit. And then I'm contouring underneath of my lips because she does have quite Perfect lips. And then taking our blush stick. We're just gonna blush all around. She's even got some blush here. She's very rosy in this picture. That's the best way that I can describe it. So now taking my Kabuki brush. 
We're just gonna blend this all in. All right, not doing too bad, but like I said, her look is a little bit matte. So, so to mattify this look, I'm going to use my Sacha powder and I am going to bake just to achieve her face shape a little bit more. So I'm taking my beauty blender. Taking a very small line. I'm just patting in the excess powder. So we're gonna let that bake for the rest of the look. And I'm actually going to take my Sigma eyeliner pencil, my liquid liner, and we are going to move on to the eyeliner. She has a really thin line towards the inner corner and then it goes out to a thicker line, but there's no wing. So that I think I can do. So now I'm just gonna take some glue and I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I'm using number 26 in the La Flair lashes. Um, they're out of the box, but they look like this I'm actually gonna take a black eyeliner and just put it on my on my lower lash line just a little bit and I'm just gonna take a smudge brush and smudge that out all right and for our lower lashes I'm gonna take my double decker lashes by butter London this mascara is really really good and her lower lashes are so long so I'm really hoping that I can achieve this so my lashes look long, not as long as hers. So I'm just gonna go back in with some concealer and kind of touch up where we smudged that liner out just because I don't want it to be as smoky as it is. That's a little better, so now I'm just gonna add a second coat of mascara. Right, and now for the lips, which is gonna be really fun, but hard because, again, I have a very sharp, you probably can't see because I have my concealer on top and my foundation, but I have a very sharp, like, V right here. It's literally like a McDonald's M. I wouldn't be thinking about McDonald's. Her top lip is completely round, so... Ooh, we gonna try. So I'm gonna take this Makeup Revolution liner and I'm going to line my lips like hers. So first I'm gonna go in with my Dose of Colors uh, liquid lipstick and this is in the color Nude Chica. My all time favorite nude. Um, this I'm just gonna focus around the areas where I have the lip liner, so mostly the outside, um, discluding this. And then we're gonna put this Anastasia liquid lipstick in Milkshake. We're going to put that in the middle because it's lighter there and then maybe we'll add a little bit of gloss because it looks like she has a little tiny bit of gloss and then i'm just going to take this nyx lip plump and pop it on the bottom right oh if there's anything in there just a little bit to give a little bit of a shine And now I'm just gonna do my hair like her really quickly. And there we go. This is the completed makeup look. I wish that I would have done this video before I would have dyed my hair darker because then I literally would have the same exact hair color as her. We'll definitely edit it in a photo and show you on the screen right over here. Um, this is what the edited photo looks like that I find is similar to the one that she is uh, using so alright guys so that is it for today's video I just wanted to do this because I just I seen this picture of her and I was like wow like she's literally so beautiful and I wanted to try to recreate her makeup I do not look like Selena Gomez in any way so this was very hard to achieve <laughs> but um, I think for my first time transforming into some type of celebrity I think I did okay i mean either way i think i honestly like the makeup and i'm pretty sure i'm going to wear this to work like lips and all so that is it for today's video i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you found this interesting and want me to remake somebody else you can just comment down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me other than that i will see you guys in thursday's video have a zenful day see ya